Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I paid zero dollars for Super Crate Box. Super Crate Box, have you heard of it? I hope you have. It's the freeware phenomenon, the score-driven game that has driven so many people insane. This game is fantastic, but uh, actually, let me, let me qualify that. It is fantastic and it is frustrating. It is fantastically frustrating and many other F-words which I shall not sully your ears with at this moment. Super Crate Box comes to us from Vlambeer. Vlambeer, a couple of Dutchmen who are also responsible for the more recent Serious Sam The Random Encounter. Uh, that was one of two indie games that were sort of commissioned to hype folks up for the new Serious Sam game, which, uh, happenstance, uh, actually today is the day that the new Serious Sam game is being released. It is November 22nd, and I do not, I did not even plan that. That is amazing. That just popped in my head as I was saying that. Huh. Imagine that. But we're not here to talk about Serious Sam or the Random Encounter or any other such thing. We're here to talk about Super Crate Box. Super Crate Box, uh, yeah, there's not a lot to it. It is a game about collecting crates, plain and simple. You can see we start out with one level and one difficulty mode. As you can see, you must score 10 on the previous level to unlock this level, and you must score 10 on this level to unlock this level. Then you must score 40 on each individual level to unlock the additional difficulty level, and so forth and so on. You also need to score points. Uh, you need to score points to collect more guns, to unlock more guns. The only way to score points is to collect the aforementioned crate boxes. And uh, there you go. Each time you collect a box, you get a new gun, or you get a different gun. I don't, it's not always going to be a new gun. Die. Uh, you can see I'm sort of defending this little fire pit down here. The reason for that is that if an enemy makes it down to the fire pit, oh darn, if an enemy makes it down to the fire pit, they will indeed become enraged. They will turn red, they will run quickly. You can see that in the background it's happening to all the enemies behind the game over screen. Get used to this game over screen, you will see it quite frequently. Let's go. So you'll notice uh, that occasionally when I die and come back to life, uh, my little hamster man thing uh, will slightly change his appearance. You will also unlock additional skins as you play through the game. Uh, so that's just sort of one of the little gimmicks of the game, uh, you have these little skins. Whoa, okay, we got a red guy. A red guy. Dual pistols, I do not like the dual pistols. Because they are garbage. There we go. And I've unlocked the revolver. Now the one cool thing about unlocking weapons is that it's cumul cumulative, cumulative, if I can pronounce that word. Uh, meaning that you don't have to maintain a score. It doesn't take a kill streak, if you will, or a crate streak, I guess is more appropriate. Uh, it actually just accumulates. So uh, you could play a dozen games and collect one crate in every one of those games, and you will have been credited for 12 crates. Um, so yeah, that's how it goes. If you collect 10 crates in 10 games, you will have 100 crates towards your weapon unlocks. Oh, that dude smashed me. Jeez. All right. So uh, the challenge here is to get 10 crates so I can open up the next level to show you guys. Uh, that's proving to be more easily said than done, as is so often the case in life. Oh, no. No, no, no. There we go. Got a red guy. I'm about to get a red. Okay, there's the revolver. Now, the revolver is a fantastic weapon. Uh, I have heard some people refer to it as the best weapon in the game. Why is that? Because it kills everything in one or two shots, and it has no real downside other than a slightly slow firing rate. There is another gun which we will encounter in a little bit, and it kills everything in one or two shots, but it has a tremendous downside, that downside being your death. Yeah. Now you would think that that might be the bazooka, but in fact the bazooka does not have any downside. Uh, it does not kill you. So you can be right in one of your own explosions, and uh, just don't matter. You will live. You will live. So, uh, yeah. Again, the uh, the only points are scored through... Oh, you got to be kidding me. The only points you score are through collecting crates, so you saw me there for a while concentrating on killing enemies. There's no reason to do that. It's absolutely pointless. We've acquired two new unlocks. Here we go. We got the flamethrower, one of my favorite weapons personally. 
I don't know how it ranks sort of in the in the uh, meta game of of super crate box, but uh, I really like the flamethrower. And we also unlock the rocket silo. Perhaps my uh, no, actually, yeah, the moon is my is my least favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The moon is my least favorite level. I, so I guess rocket silo would be my second least favorite level. Um, basically, the more complex the, that a level gets, the less likely I am to like it. Okay, I had my finger on the wrong key. So, uh, yeah, I didn't actually shoot anything when I wanted to shoot something. Oh, you got to be kidding me right there. Come on now. There we go. We'll take the shotgun. All right, the flamethrower. Oh, we had it for a moment. Just for a second. For, for a split second. Oh, that worked out well. Dual pistols. Dual pistols. Now, dual pistols... I don't mind dual pistols. A lot of people just really, really hate on dual pistols. I don't think they're really a good weapon, but... Okay, so now we get a chance to see the flamethrower. As you can see, it spreads flame everywhere. I kind of think that's a good thing. I mean, personally. And the revolver, the powerful revolver. Let's clear these guys out, get the next crate. And so now we've got 11 crates, we've got 12 crates, and uh, that will unlock the next level, which is very cool. Again, we want to concentrate on getting crates. Now, the key with this game is you don't want to concentrate on getting crates at the um, at the cost of letting every single enemy go red on you and then basically not being able to oh we got 16 crates uh, not being able to get any more crates <clears throat> so it's a delicate balance uh, it's a balance between collecting crates and killing enemies you want to prioritize crates but sometimes you have a really good weapon so you want to clear out the whole level and then go for your next crate there's all sorts of layers of strategy involved as simple as the game seems I'm not going to go into it for you because frankly I'm not really good at this game all right, so we got the Moon Temple. I'm going to go to the Moon Temple. Like I said, I really hate the Moon Temple, um, but we'll go over to the Moon Temple. This is the reason I hate the Moon Temple, because of the two fire pits. It's really annoying. Then, of course, I mean, that's... Games get more difficult. It's kind of what games do. And uh, in this case... Yeah. The levels get more difficult. Oh, come on now. That's silliness. Now, as you can see, oftentimes you can have five crates collected before the first enemy really even comes out. And uh, that is actually uh, that is a decent strategy. To just go as fast as you absolutely can to get as many crates as you can as quickly as you can. Okay, that's going to help right there. Oh, yeah, sweetness. Clear out. So you notice I, I did a little, just a little bit of a clear out. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I did a little clear out before I went for the next crate because I, I had the bazooka. We got two more unlocks, and this early on, especially, it, it keeps going like that. You know, you keep getting these uh, these unlocks really early on. They unlock new weapons, new skins, that sort of thing. Uh, so we got the disc gun. Now this is the gun I'll show you. This is the gun that can kill you back. So we'll go ahead and give that one a, a twirl, as well as the astronaut. The astronaut is uh, another skin, and you get it for killing ten people on this level. So I'll, I'll forego that, and I'll get the disc gun. Um, so yeah, the disc gun. Uh, it will kill you. The disc gun will kill you. Also, an enemy dropping on your head uh, will kill you. There we go. Flamethrower. The revolver. Shotgun. I just really want the disc gun so I can play with it a little bit more. Flamethrower. Bazooka. The revolver. Shotgun. Oh, so got to be kidding me right there. Okay. Oh, he saw me chop me in half. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the disc gun. Freaking hate it. Um, yeah. I mean, it actually is a really effective weapon because it does kill everything in one or two shots, like I said. Um, but I'd much rather have the revolver. Because even with its slightly, uh, slightly reduced firing... Uh, firing rate, it's still pretty freaking awesome. And there's the disc gun again. And that's pretty much the main thing with the disc gun. You get the disc gun and you don't realize you've picked it up. You fire, you're too close to a wall, and you are dead. So uh, this is pretty much what this game is. There isn't a whole lot more I can do, but I would like to take a couple of moments just to kind of tell you about a concept uh, that I have recently uh, been working on. It's something that I want to do over on TGN. So you'll just e excuse my... Uh, my horrible deaths that are inevitably going to be happening in the background here, guys. 
Uh, it's something I'm going to do over on TGN, and it is um, going to actually utilize uh, Super Crate Box. And uh, the idea, the basic idea, is that I will uh, create a challenge series. And that challenge series will be all about taking a free game, in this case, Super Crate Box, setting a high score on that game, and then putting that to the TGN community. Now the challenge would go out directly to the other directors on TGN. That would be the main focus. It would be it would function as a director's challenge. But I would also ask and welcome the community at TGN to join with me in trying to tackle the high score. Uh, so the idea being it becomes both a director challenge in that the community can encourage their favorite director to take up the challenge. You know, you can say, oh, well, my favorite director is fill in director here. I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, you know, my favorite director is uh, Matt Yee, Impromptu Gaming. Uh, so I want to encourage him to take up the challenge. So I do so in the form of, you know, a comment that can be voted up or by telling him directly. Um, on his Twitter or on his personal account or whatever. And uh, so the community can actually get behind their individual directors. On top of that, we got minds unlocked. The community can also get behind, um, or the community can also get behind themselves. Uh, they can actually, uh, they can actually put forth a score on their own. They can do that in the form of a video response. Um, I will manage all of those and make sure that, you know, the appropriate stuff gets, oh, come on, uh, you know, the appropriate videos get posted, I'll do, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do the, the sort of the management of, of the show, and um, directors would be free, TGN directors would be free to uh, answer the challenge whenever they felt like it, and uh, TGN viewers could uh, answer the challenge at any point, and I would then uh, make sure that their video gets associated with uh, you know, the, the proper show and all that stuff, you know, all that good business, all that, the, oh, oh, jeez, okay, let's, let's clear this out, let's clear this out, there we go, okay, that's better, it's mines, a bazooka, a bazooka, ooh, that was nice, oh, that dude didn't follow my mind, so yeah, that's the basic concept, the idea is that we want to create, uh, more of an interactive environment at TGN, and, um, you know, as I expand my, oh, as I expand my independent gaming coverage over on TGN, something else that I would like to expand is my, I kind of got weird there for a second. Uh, something else that I would like to expand is just my general presence on TGN, and this seemed like a really good way to do it. So, uh, the one main thing with this challenge would be that the games would always be free. They would always be free so that we could ensure the the ability for the community to participate for the community to participate participate apparently that is a much more difficult word to pronounce than uh, one might think i certainly had a lot of trouble with it there uh, so if you think this is a good idea if you think this is a bad idea uh, let me know uh, just let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, i've already taken this idea to tgn and, and they've uh, imp they've approved it in in its uh, initial concept form so we'll have to see what they think as I actually develop the idea but uh, yeah Super Crate Box would be the very first game that we would uh, unleash and um, I would be very interested in seeing uh, how some of the other directors fare at Super Crate Box and uh, seeing how quickly my uh, surely pitiful initial score will be beaten uh, by both the other directors and the audience uh, yeah. so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed Super Crate Box. Super Crate Box is absolutely free. Oh man, I got 19 crates at the time? Uh, Super Crate Box is absolutely free, so there's no reason that you shouldn't at least give it a whirl. Go to supercratebox.com and check it out. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you uh, give me some feedback on my TGN idea, and I hope that you guys would even come over and participate when I actually get that thing running. So I hope you have enjoyed Super Crate Box. I hope you will uh, give Super Crate Box a chance. I have been Big Dave, and I get sliced in half. Until next time, guys, take it easy.